It's all going terribly well. Now, selfie, it's the Oxford English Dictionary's word of the year, but not all the photos we take of ourselves on smartphones and upload to social media are, in my opinion, created equal. Take the good. This one of astronaut Aki Hoshida from the International uh, Space Station is going to take uh, some beating. Then we have the bad. Well, as far as inappropriate selfies go, how about this student uh, snapping himself while behind you see uh, the teacher having gone into labour and having contractions. And the ugly... I won't tell you what my daughter calls this picture. Actually, I will. She calls it the chins photo. I have no idea why. No more pocket money. Well, let's chat all things selfie and whether it merits word of the year with our social media producer in a moment. But first, our presenters and correspondents, modest though they are, just couldn't help themselves today. ghastly photo. Right, let's get it. Can we lose that from the screen, please, now? Uh, Sam Barry is here. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I kind of feel sick now, having that behind me uh, while I'm trying to do an interview with you. Um, is everyone taking selfies now? I mean, it's just kind of, they are ubiquitous, aren't they? It's huge. Who's not taking a selfie? The Pope has taken the first papal selfie this year, and it, in doing that, made himself very accessible to young people. Michelle o Obama has taken a selfie in the last um, month. There, there is, there's very few people that don't understand what selfie is or are not getting involved in it. It's fun. It's fun. And of course it deserves to be word of the year. Fad or permanent? Permanent, because I think uh, it's quite interesting to watch the conversations around this. So some people were saying this is obscene. By the way, we're just showing, well, in case you didn't need to. There's a Michelle, yeah, Michelle Obama yeah. with her dog Bo. But some people are, are saying this is obscene. And, and that was quite funny for me because obscene is a word that Shakespeare invented, or at least was the first citation of it. And then that became a word that we use. So this is how languages evolve. Some people mightn't think this is the most um, beautiful word in the dictionary but it you know it, it, it says what it does on the tin it's a selfie but okay is it just narcissism you know look this is me it's more me 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 I, I mean we're given every day something else that we can publish ourselves with either if that's a blog or a social network or take a photo of ourselves and there is a s slight narcissism that comes along with there's a lot of smug selfies um, but it's you know if it's it, if it's done in humor I think it works quite well it can be done really badly as well. I mean, there's this big campaign against people taking selfies at funerals, which has become a bit of an Instagram um, um, trend at the moment amongst young people. And um, that I find quite strange. Um, but, you know, th there's fun selfies. And this, the one behind you, that astronaut, I mean, can you not sum up a selfie in a better way than that? Well, no, I mean, absolutely spectacular. It also, I mean, what's so fantastic about that picture is OK, look at that. Look at where I am. I mean, and I suppose those selfies which you just marvel at something you are witnessing behind you. You know, I, I kind of was in Kenya recently and saw the migration of wildebeest. And you just think, oh, I can't believe I'm watching one of the kind of natural wonders of the world. I, I know you took a great one, didn't Did you? take a selfie. Because when this building was officially opened, uh, the Queen came. And there was Sam Barry with her camera phone. Uh, is she taking a picture? Everyone else is facing the Queen. <laughs> I was trying and to there take a is selfie Sam Barry with the Queen. trying to get a photo of herself with the Queen in the background. Do you know what I got out of that? I got a bit of her blue hat. I didn't, I, it, I didn't frame it the way I would want it to, but it was fun. Didn't you say, Your Majesty, could you just do that entrance one more time, please? I didn't quite get the picture right. I tweeted it and it got retweeted a lot of times and it, it turns out it's actually quite rude to turn your back to the Queen. So that was something it I was is, unaware do you, do you, Yeah, of. the Privy Council meetings take place and when the, men, the members of the Privy Council file out, they yeah, file out backwards. backwards. Yeah, because they're not allowed to turn their back on the Queen. Didn't know that before I tried my well, selfie. Well, I think, you know, the, the Tower of London may be having a new occupant fairly soon with behaviour uh, like that. How many of these selfies are getting uploaded on a kind of daily basis? Is there any way of calculating? Well, 
there's no way of calculating, but with what, what the Oxford English Dictionary have found is that there's 17,000% increase in the last year in the word, the term 17, self 17,000%. 17,000%. And I love that it actually originated in Australia. Um, I have a lot of Australian friends. They like to shorten words a lot and add an IE, whether that be a Barbie for a barbecue or a tinny for a, um, a can of beer. Um, so the first incident was in 2002 with, when an Australian guy took a picture and said, sorry, I'm not drunk. This is a selfie of my injuries. Um, but it's only really exploded in the last two years and you see everybody getting in on the act. Um, and we've also got a picture, I think, you know, is the kind of the good, the bad and the misbehaved as well. Who's this? That, so this is, you know, this is the reach of selfies. This is a, a Mexican drug cartel member who, I mean, the, first of all, this shows how global selfies are. But I think that's also for the um, uh, Mexican, author Mexican authorities. This was a way for this um, me gang member to say, I'm going to, you know, this is how smug I am. I'm going to take a photo with my guns and everything and just post it on social networks and get okay. away with it. Well, that is global done for today. So we're just going to go with a selfie now. OK, come on, smile. OK. OK, we'll post that on the web. Yeah? Great. <laughs> Right, we'll put that on the BBC site a little bit later on. Sam, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Global will be back same time, same place tomorrow with no selfies, hopefully. Thanks very much for being with us.